Hey guys, it's Jeremiah here from Teardown Systems, here to do an overview video on our sustainment and reconnaissance rig, or the SNR rig. Basically, we wanted to bring this to you guys because there's a lot of options on the market, but there weren't options that necessarily suited what I wanted and what some people were looking for out there on the market. It, um, it's basically a split rig, but it can also be a placard, where you play carry. It can also be two standalone chest rigs or an LBE. The nice thing about this is the versatility of it. We really were just looking to carry a higher load for when you're rucking around, LARPing around, and just really needing to carry all that with your GP pouches without taking any Molly real estate, but also keeping it extremely low profile on your body. Um, this was very important in the way we designed it and sewed it and uh, just incorporated a lot of the features that you'll be seeing here pretty soon. When you first get this rig, uh, it'll come with two of our placards or the split rig. Uh, and it won't come with any backstrap or harness because most of you guys already have your own harnesses or backstraps. And honestly, anything out there will pretty much work with this system and you shouldn't have any issues. Uh, so basically it'll come with both these as well as uh, all the buckles you'll need and bungees for retaining your magazines. We will have uh, inserts available for you to order, but a lot of inserts out there on the market work just fine. Now, outside of that, we'll go over into how, uh, what you can do with this, how you can run it, and everything else. So some of the main features on this are our built-in ad admin pouch in the rear of the placard, as well as our loop system here that's uh, pretty universal with most companies to fit all your inserts and whatnot. As well as you can see we have a bunch of these little squares laser cut in there. This is for your bunging or say you have a GP pouch or something in your admin pouch back here. You can always use it to tie down something in there so say if it falls it will not be falling off your kit. As well as you can see these two loops up here, that's for any of your Swift Clip uh, compatible plate carriers, chest rigs, whatever. Um, but if you run it as the split rig, you can always just tuck one of these tabs into the admin pouch and you will not have to worry about that. It's in its split rig configuration. As well as if you look at our plate carrier here, You'll see there's a little bit something different about this version here. If you look at our tabs on the outside, you'll see that they have these little fingers. That's because we wanted this rig to also be super versatile in terms of being able to accept your tube options, your buckle options, and your G-hook options. So basically it'll fit just about anything on there. If you have a plate carrier with tubes, you can add your tubes onto here so that you can run it with it. As well as um, we will be modifying G hooks so that you can run them on here for your fixed option. Now, if you look at the rear of our placards here, of our rig, you'll notice that the entire field of it is Velcro. That means you don't have to worry about which expander can work on here, which dangler can work on here. Uh, you will just about to be able to adjust anything however you want in any direction. As you can see, we have a Spirit of Systems radio pouch here that just slaps right on, and then you just uh, can uh, you know put your background over it. And I'll keep it nice and tight, or you can run it on your plate carrier. Uh, it just makes it super nice that you have that option and that you're not limited to anything due to uh, the Velcro being in a weird spot or anything like that. So 
A few options on the website that you'll be seeing is that you can get this in a adjustable or fixed position for your uh, front of the rig. As you can see here, this has tabs. So for you guys that you know you're gonna be running it as a split rig, uh, you can get an adjustable front. For you guys that know you're gonna be able to just run it as a standard uh, placard, chest rig or whatever, and you might run it as a split rig and you just wanna ditch off one side to your buddy or something like that, you can run it fixed. Still works for the split front. It just, you'll have to know what you're wearing with your kit so that you adjust it from the back and then if you wear your kit regularly and you're not changing it up, you won't have to need that front adjustability. You'll just have it adjusted in the back and you just clip it in. But for you guys that are changing stuff a lot or just want the easy use and adjustability, you can order it in a dedicated option of just adjusting with the tabs. Super useful and we know just some people want to run it like that so we offered it. Um, here I'll, I'll throw it on so you guys can see. Kind of this is how I run it. It's my personal rig. I run it a little bit lower for ESA reload and you can still reach all the way back there. For you guys that are worried about how wide this seems, um, we've been running it on our Alice pack here with some dust aspiration straps. Um, we haven't had any issues. We've run it with this and a few other packs on the market. And uh, it doesn't really impede anything. And if you're ditching your pack right before an assault, then you're fine because you won't have it on you. But it's still super comfortable and we haven't had any issues with that type of compatibility. But as you can see, it rides pretty well. And uh, this is just G hooked in, it makes it super simple. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of how you can run it. it. Carries quite a bit. Like we mentioned, it carries four 5.56 magazines and three uh, 308. And then if, if you run it on both sides, you just double that amount. Uh, as well as these inserts are pretty wide. So you could run a pistol in it with your magazines if you wanted to. But yeah, so anyways, that's the sustainment and reconnaissance rig or SNR rig. Uh, we've been really wanting to bring it to you guys for a while, but uh, yeah, so first batch will be available in multicam. And then after that, uh, in the near future, we'll be offering other colorways. If you have any questions, just reach out to us at teardownsystems.com and our email or Instagram. Uh, we love talking to you guys and we just hope to bring you guys more products that are super useful and versatile. Thank you. You guys have a good one. Train hard, serve others, tear down systems.